Hello everyone and welcome back to more Metro Prime 2 Blind and in this episode I'm going to be looking at my map <laughs> making sure I'm going the right damn way Alright cool, we're going to be going for this door and progressing on seeing what else there is to lie in this game Mystery, mystery Okay, what about this? Let's have a look, power relays connected, allow elevator unit online, step into the hologram to activate the elevator Yay, it's one of these things I was going to say, I was like, where are one of those things that I found? Oh boy Lovely. It's an ironing board. The elevator will move when you enter the hologram. Right, cool, but can I scan it first? It's probably not necessary, but it became so much of my instinct in the first game, I am going to be doing it regardless. Actually, when you kind of look like it, alright, this looks like the mouth, and these two bits here, they look like eyes, so therefore, it is a frog. And now you cannot unsee it. Right. <laughs> That's literally what I saw, anyway, I don't know about you. Okay, so what does the T mean? Does it mean new weapon, perhaps, maybe? I do not know. Okay, yeah, there's a T right here, and it's right at the corner. Right, so what could that mean? Oh, it means one of these. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing that I did earlier, isn't it? So if I scan this, I'm able to interface with uh, door control system. Cannot translate alien text. To access door controls, you will need to update your translator files. I'm going to have to be doing a lot of translating, yeah, because I came across this at the beginning, but of course I forgot what the hell that bloody thing was. At least now I realize. Okay, however, if I go into here and get up the keys, it still tells me nothing, right? Yeah, so it's a complete mystery at the minute. Alright, okay, is there anything to do then beforehand? Doesn't look like it. And the T is in order to go that way, isn't it? So there is one right over there. However, there is also, perhaps, maybe... Okay, let me just try and understand where I am at the minute. So the T is right here. Yeah, this is in order to get past this door, which then leads to out there and brings me back to my ship. I'm assuming then I'm going to go into this next room and get this thing in order to translate files. And then that's become going to like become a thing later in the game. I mean, why else would the map design be like this, right? I don't know. I'm just very... I like to pay attention to the little details here and there and just kind of assume stuff beforehand. Okay. Hello. The door shut. I thought for a second I was in deep danger. Doesn't look like it though. Oh wow! A nice, expansive area to explore. Don't mind if I diddly do. Let's see. Destroy locks to activate the gate. The game will remain open once activated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello! It's. Oh, I thought it was one of these things that just continuously shoot at you. You know, like in the first game. But no. They're a bit more nicer to you like this. Okay. Right, so then. What, what do I do out here? That's a thing that needs scanning. That isn't. Okay, cool. Hey, hey, can I get you, maybe? Can I get one of you slot? No, I can't. Okay, what about this thing over here? This is a GF combat crane. Portable lifting system used by troops to assemble temporary battle structures. Powerful winch system lifts and moves objects quickly. Ah, fascinating. Okay, that's out of range. I want to tread carefully, though. Right, this is a heavy transport crate. Unit cannot be destroyed. Currently connected to industrial winch system for movement. Oh. So, it's basically like this thing, isn't it? So, it's not the connect- Oh, of course! How about instead of paying- Stop scanning and actually look about the place, god damn it! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Okay, the scan voice is useful in gathering information. Yeah, don't say I've been doing that all along! This is a secure Galactic Federation crate. These crates are made of the strongest metals in the cosmos. They cannot be destroyed. Really? Uh, well... Oh, yeah, you're right, okay. Scan objects and creatures to learn more about them. Game! Stop telling me! I know what I'm doing! Okay? I've learned the error of my ways in the first game. See? Look at that! Research! Without you saying. Okay? Because that was just under my speculation. The mechanism is MK2 Bridge Portable Bridge System. Right! And I looked at the logbook earlier and told me about mechanisms, so I need to also use that as well. This bridge is durable, but often locks in place, leading the Marines to call for a new design. Press 2 for log, but right, so if I press this, it's going to lead me straight to it, right? Gotcha. Cool, and now I know where it is exactly. It's under the GF bridge, log, but research mechanisms, GF... It's like I'm looking for a bloody computer. Freaking hell, this is complicated, and I love it. Oh, that is such a cool idea. <laughs> you know, like when you're trying to look for all the folders that you've put it in, or stored the data. Wow, this thing replicates reality very well. Ah, oh, boy. Control system online, that's your winch engaged. Yay! It's gonna move the thing out of the way. I've accomplished stuff. Oh, and there's another one of those T's. Oh boy. Does T, perhaps under my theory, I think it stands for transport. 
because it's been or to get around the place, isn't it? I might be wrong about that though. Right, okay, so I'm in this huge ass area. Is there anything else to do? There is. There is a T right there which leads to a secret room, but because I haven't got the translator file, I can't actually do that. Hello? And this is going to move it back, isn't it? Winch system malfunction. Uh, control system is not responding. Unable to return container to winch system. Well, that's bloody brilliant, isn't it? Such reliable technology we have here, right? You move the fair, it does it first, but then you move it back and nope, nothing. Hello? Okay, let me scan you from a distance. Hold on. Let's see to your logbook. Okay. Splinter cocoon. Protective structure for sleeping splinters. Destroying the structure will eliminate the splinter inside, but will also alert other splinters nearby. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So if I kill one of them, then they're going to react to it. So the idea is probably then, don't destroy it. Maybe. Unless maybe I should just destroy it when I have a much better weapon or so. I do not know. Unable to interface with door control system. Yes, yes, exactly. You need to update your translator files. Bloody hell. Oh, hello. Okay, it's one of you guys too. Right, so what's the difference with these guys? They are a uh, predatory insectoid hunter. Splinters are aggressive and dangerous in numbers. Their light armor is no match for your weapons. However. Oh, I mean, however. Alright, the, <laughs> the light armor is no match for your weapons. Right, yes, so that means if I shoot at you, no effect. However, you are immune to, or at least should I say vulnerable, not immune, to the charge beam. So that is nice, okay. However, let's not... Hmm, what about you up there? Okay, let's see, it's on the surface, Prowlers. Uh, green Krillie. Cool. A new creature's entry, yes, okay. Green Krillie, Omnivorous Hunter Gatherer. Simple-minded creature patrols turf in search of nourishment. Low threat index. Avoid physical contact. Avoid physical. Gotcha. Okay. So then... Okay, where is it? It's over there. Right, cool. So... By physical, does that mean... Okay, in terms of physical in this universe of Metroid, does this mean physical as in, like, the beams? Or literally touching the thing? I wonder... I'm going to do it from experimentation. Charge beam, ready? I was correct, right, yeah, so physical is literally when you go up to it and hit it. I I just wanted to be sure, you know, okay. Wait, the cocoons? Morphology destroyed, spent a cocoon, comprised hibernation structure. This cocoon has been heavily damaged. Only remnants of the cocoon shell remain. Right. So I see. Then, hold on, but it told me a thing earlier that I don't need to destroy? Oh, it's these things. Yeah. I, I might as well literally just leave those guys alone. Because I don't even need to destroy anything. I'm not going to get any extra items. So we'll just tread things lightly, right? Okay, cool. Hmm. Now then, what I'm going to do is... If I go near them, does it alert them? I don't think so, because it said to me to not basically damage them and it will alert all the other ones, right? So I see. Okay. Bridge lock armor disengaged. Lock armor's to lower the bridge. Wow. Amazing, you just blimmin press buttons and it does stuff for you. It's like reality right there, isn't it? Okay, now let's destroy these eyes and bring this down. They're not actually eyes, but I just like to see things that way for some reason. I... I do question about my life sometimes. And myself. As do we all. I'm pretty sure anyway. <laughs> or maybe I'm alone. I don't know. This is the thing that's gonna say it's offline, right? Yeah, yeah, unable to scan target. Local interference blocking scan visor. Recommend scanning object from closer range to counter the interference. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Interference, hmm? I wonder. And I begin to wonder if it's anything around here. I was gonna say, if those things attack me, then that is... That is bad news, isn't it? Right. I haven't heard any humming so far, though. So hopefully things are okay. This is not going to lead to a boss. I'm always under that impression for some damn reason, you know? Just whenever there's a dark hallway, and I always assume that, yeah, that's what it's gonna be. And the law's been added! Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Personal log entry PFCM. Right, data transfer to your lab for further review. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna say the same thing every time, isn't it? So let's see. I think Haley's losing it. He talks to himself all the time, and he won't sleep. He almost shot me on watch the other night. I think he thought I was one of those things. I talked to the doc about talking to him offline. Oh, sorry, off the line. And he told me we need all the help we can get. That's true, but if he goes berserk and kills a bunch of us, that won't be a very helpful. Hmm. 
So I see. Right, well, I'm probably going to do those ask you guys a question when I come across these things. Because it doesn't force you to read the story. It says you can look at it in your logbook any time. Do you want me to do that? Anytime I find these, do you then want me to read out the whole story in the logbook? Or just ignore it completely and get on with the bloody action? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below and I will listen. Okay. Before doing that though, let's... Nope. There's nothing else here. Hold on. Okay, it takes me up to a passage way right out here, but it seems that there's a thing that I can walk by. Yeah, exactly. There's a thing right here. Hey, is this thing I can scan? No. No, it isn't. <laughs> See, it has like this pathway right here though, right? So I assume maybe, perhaps, that's probably going to be removed at some point in the future, right? Okay. Let's walk by... Okay, there's only two of you. Out of experimentation. I'm going to destroy you. And it doesn't react. Never mind then. Okay, cool. I was hoping it would then react and try to attempt to kill me, but no, not so much. That is... Oh, I saw this before. Okay, what was this? Uh, that's the statue's motivated unit. It's functional but requires power to operate. Yeah, I need to seek an alternate energy source. Okay, so I've got to remember that. Anytime I see those purple crystals, energy. Find energy. That is too out of range, isn't it? Yeah, I can't even get that from there. Not even worth trying that. Hello. What is it going to show me here? It's going to show me the temple grounds. We're actually in a new area. Wow. That blended well. It almost looks like I've landed on an entirely new planet. Jeez, that is a clever way for transition. Also, wow, the music. I love this place already. Right. And there's a thing down there. That is going to be a missile door, isn't it? Yes, there is a blast shield on the door blo blocking access. Analysis indicates that the blast shield is invulnerable to most weapons. A missile blast might damage it. I could tell just from the structure of it. Makes sense to me. Okay. And that is a thing that I can just break with this, right? Yeah, I thought so. Cool. I don't know why I had it in my mind that I needed the missile in order to get rid of that. Because that is incorrect. Also, for some reason, I was pressing the B button hoping that I could do a double jump. But that didn't happen at all. So, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. What is there to do? Is there one of these? It's going to tell me the same thing, isn't it? Yes, because I need to update the translator files. Cool. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of you guys. Oh, there's one right there, actually. One thing I do need to watch out for is, for a start, him trying to leap at me. And also, maybe pay attention to the map. Because that tells me about all the secrets, doesn't it? For, like, all the enemies around in the rooms and whatnot. I was going to say, if you jump at me, that would be the most scariest thing ever. They jump really far for, like, simple enemies, don't they? Okay, right. Now, are there going to be any puzzle mechanics in this, I wonder? The things that I just have to kind of move about the place? Surely it's got to be. It's Metroid, right? Okay, right. The music here gives me very, very strong vibes of Oddworld. I don't know about you, but it really does. It reminds me of, um, particularly Oddworld, was it Abe's Exodus? When you escape from the place and go into, like, some kind of wooded area. And I love soundtracks like that, so you know I blim and approve. Hey, can I get you from here? Ooh, that is a far range, isn't it? Missile expansion, don't mind if I do. Increase the number of missiles you can carry by five. Righty-ho. Hmm, now I wonder, can I cheese the system? Because what I'm going to try and do, right, is the bomb jumping. Unless maybe they've done it in a way to where you can't... Hold on, wait, I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't do the... Oh no, I can't lay bombs! Ah! I'm an idiot! <laughs> Blimenek, I'm so forgetful. Oh boy. I don't know why you guys want me to play the sequel after the first game. Surely you'll be like, oh my god, you suck at the game, man. Like, I did this far better than you on my first time and whatnot. Uh, I do wonder. Okay, right. Anyway. Right, before going through there. Doesn't appear to be anything, and I kind of want to just scan this just for now. Right, so what's this going to activate? Industrial winch engaged. It's another one of these things. Gotcha. They can't be destroyed, though, which is a shame, because I bet they would contain some really nice valuables inside. Oh! Oh, that ain't good. That's not good at all, is it? Oh, that's worse. Oh, boy. And I'm going to scan it again. And it's probably going to tell me... Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. Yeah, it's just going to tell me the same thing. Sorry about that. I had a bit of a quick interruption there. I was expecting those. And now I'm back. Okay. Right, so where to go at a time like this? I don't know where to begin, actually. I'm assuming maybe, perhaps, I need to get up there like that. 
It's a shame I don't have my bombs though, because then I'd be breaking the living crap out of this game. Because that's just so fun to do. Right. Is there any extra things around here then? Doesn't look like it, but hey, there's this wall, which leads to nowhere. Right. <laughs> Never mind, it was worth a look, wasn't it? I'm just going to be doing my best to look around all the areas, especially the ones which are wide open. Because you never know, you might be able to find something when it comes to items, right? Are these actually cobwebs though, or am I just overthinking? I Seriously though, I am expecting a spider boss. If there's no spider boss, then I'll be thankful. <laughs> because I'd rather prefer fighting a similar weapon, no weapon? No, enemy to like the first game. I forgot what it was called. I think it was called the Parasite Queen as well as I'm aware. Yeah, something like that. Something like that would be really nice for the first boss. That would be really good. Okay, right, so where where do I go? In a damn like this. Let me just look at my map. Hold on, there's a T thing right there. And there's an extra thing over there. Right. Yeah, so if this dare gives me a hint, I swear to Blimmin' Jesus. <laughs> that would kinda suck, wouldn't it? Yeah, and that's engaged, and it's telling me to go somewhere in this area. But because I wasn't paying attention, I don't know where I'm going. Right. Hmm. Anything to scan? Hey, wait! Oh, I need to scan this, right? What's it scan complete? This is a heavy transport crate. Unit cannot be destroyed. Connection to which system failing. Capable, capable strength is at critical. Radio, so maybe... Yeah, I was thinking that. If I shoot this... <laughs> hey, there we go. I hope they didn't have to lock on that one up there. That would be a shame. <laughs> cool. Is it me or did it just get darker? Like, it was light a minute ago? Maybe they introduced, like, a new sort of night daytime setting? If they did? That is genius. I like that. Right. Okay, so I know I'm supposed to go in there. Uh, but, hey! Hey! Hey, how did you... How did you... How did you get up there? Hmm. I'm assuming I need to come over there somewhere and then use my North Pole in order to get it right. Yeah, so that's a thing I can't quite get at the minute. That's fine. I'm probably going to have to fight the first boss game without my missiles. Pretty sure, anyway. Hey, what about this? Oh, that's a research. Oh, okay. Okay, an MK defense gate. Durable Federation barrier. Gate is composed of Denzium. Denzium, hmm. Invulnerable to most weapons, though high yield explosives are effective. Right. Got it, okay. High yield high yield explosives. If I press two on this, right, okay. This produces of densium. Right. It's a shame how you can't literally just highlight the word that it says and then just jump straight to it and be like, oh, oh, that's the thing that does it, you know, because then it rewards you for literally looking about on the logbook and everything. But you know that doesn't appear to happen, does it? Okay, I'll keep that in mind for now, because if I shoot it with the available weapons that I have at the minute, it's not going to work, is it? Okay, I'm back now. Anyway, right, so let's see. You're going to shoot this with charge beam, doesn't do anything. Shoot this with this, doesn't do anything again. Right, yeah, so again, this is a thing I'm going to have to come back to a bit later. And maybe perhaps I need to use my double jump in order to get up there. And that's probably going to lead to a secret item up there, isn't it? Hold on, wait. Yeah, it is, because I hear that humming. I hear that humming loud and clear on my left ear. And that rhymed, wow. <laughs> so, I'll come back to that a bit later. Okay, gate security protocol initiated. You are cleared to proceed. Some gates will remain locked down to prevent future incursions of by hostile forces. Or hostile, I don't even know. Right. Well, it's one of these things, is it? Cool. Now, if that raises up... Hey! Hey, I didn't see that. I did not see that coming at all. And... Okay, that one does not... Okay, it does do damage to my normal beam, but not that much. Also, great. This thing is light here, isn't it? Yeah, durable. We're getting preserved Denzium, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I think I know what's going to happen. Let me just look at the structure of this thing. Okay, no, maybe not. That, that is not a boss room. <laughs> if it is, then Blimmin' Hill, what kind of boss is that? Oh, boy, that would be bad. Okay. So, let's see what else there is to see. In an area like this, one of you guys. Right, cool. Let's just shoot you normally then and just try to destroy you like this. Cool. Charge beams might be better though, because it doesn't one shot, right? And it doesn't cost anything. Because there's nothing to preserve, is there? Right. Um. Hmm. Anything. Anything to scat. Hey, there's that thing over there. I'm guessing I have to do that through it. But, I mean, currently, I would just like to look at extra things. That's a law. Yes, yes, okay. 
They didn't transport too long, but gotcha. I love how they do that. So now I get a preference, don't I? Right, comm system activated, initiating automated distress signal, adjusting transmitter for optimum performance. Okay. And this leads to... That thing up there. Wow. Look at this, it's a satellite, I think. Either that awesome kind of laser beam. It looks like a satellite to get a signal. Definitely. The sky keeps changing in the background. That's co Wait, hold on, I saw the thing. Transmission fell due to atmospheric interference. Wow, I very nearly missed that then. <laughs> Blimey heck. Oh boy, it's a shame there's like some kind of transcript or so, just in case you miss certain things and you want to know what the hell it said. I mean, Danganronpa had that pretty well. Right. So I just came from here, right? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I came from over there. Ah, uh, and now I'm going this way or so. What I kind of need to remember is looking at the map up there. Because that does actually really help me out a lot. Right. Cool. So then I have to go this way in order to go down there. Then what is that bit for? That is a thing to jump up there. However, I cannot quite get up there just yet. So maybe... Maybe I have to go this way in order to go by. Hello! Hello! It's you again. Hello. Yes, nice. Nice to meet you. Perhaps maybe what I should do is observe more when it comes to those certain things. Because then it means that when they're on the ground, they have a chance of hitting me. Or at least coming alive and trying to kill me anyway. Right. That wasn't so bad. Didn't take a single hit that time because I did not panic as much. Oh boy. Right. And then this is going to lead to here, the light map. Cool. Right. Okay. Hmm. What I'm probably going to do just to remain on the safe side again is probably end the episode off right here because time constraints and whatnot, you know. And I don't want things to go on for too long. I'm sorry if the first three episodes are really slow. We haven't fought one bloody boss yet, whereas in the first one it happened immediately. <laughs> it kind of sunk you in quickly, but... Oh, uh, boy. Like, I'm really, really slow at trying to progress and things because I just like to look about everything in the areas, and sorry. That's, that's just how I am. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one of Metro Prime 2 Blind.